what's going on guys welcome back to the channel appreciate you guys tuning in for another video if you guys are new to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button you know we're really trying to grow the channel we're pumping out three videos a week right now and we don't want you to miss out on any future videos so definitely hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos you know it's kind of the off season now from from the bulk of the tournament scene for us and uh I've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting on what I should do in the future, what other tournaments I should fish. So kind of been thinking and I'm, I'm coming to you guys. We're going to kind of go through the options and uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So make sure you, you get your comments ready and uh, leave it in the comments because it's definitely going to play a factor into what we do next year. So I got to hear your opinion and uh, I'm curious what everyone thinks, what we should do heading into the 2025 season. All right, I can't believe we're already planning out 2025, but it's uh, it's here, and and it's really really time to uh, start thinking about what what to do. So I've paid my deposits for the Bass Pro Tour, so I am I'm all in with with Major League Fishing on the Bass Pro Tour. I really feel like it is the best high level tournament going. I mean, it, it it's a factual information. If you look at the the entry fee versus payout substantially better than any other option out there um, if you look at the number of cameras compared to the number of anglers per day substantially better so you know the, the two main things that i look at in my investment into whatever tournament that i'm going to fish is the entry fee versus payout and is there live coverage you know to to uh, if if you do well in the event are you going to be on camera are you going to be exposed to the fans and are they going to be able to watch you and you know expose your sponsors and and that kind of stuff so right off the bat the bass pro tour wins both of those categories so that is why i focus on the bass pro tour but let's see the bass pro tour has seven stages so there are seven tournaments i qualified for red crest so that makes eight tournaments i qualified for heavy hitters next year so that's nine tournaments and then likely there will be two team series events we don't know for sure how the how the format's all going to work next year but likely i'll be able to fish two of the four i, I mean there's four scheduled but we don't really know the the format until later on but likely there'll be two you know i fished two of them this year or i'm going to fish a second one here soon so likely there'll be two of those in 2025 so that is up to 11 tournaments already and uh you know it, it's a pretty busy year so but i love bass fishing i want to fish as many tournaments as possible i'm a professional tournament angler that's what i do for a living i want to fish as many tournaments as i can because that's where i make my money that's where i make my living so i'm looking at options to fish in addition to the bass pro tour you know major league fishing offers the invitational level which is essentially the qualifying league for the bass pro tour so you know those events are an option the toyota series is an option um, the bfls are potentially an option and then we could look outside of major league fishing at you know whether it be the the bass master opens or local events the npfl npfl is not really on my radar um, just because of the you know kind of what we mentioned before um, with the entry fee versus payout same with the opens i mean to me those tournaments the the opens especially are strictly there for qualifying purposes you're not there to to make any money and, and then these additional tournaments that i'm looking at adding into my schedule i'm looking for the best bang for my buck like i'm looking to make some extra money in an event um that you know isn't part of the bass pro tour season so as far as factoring in entry fee versus payout, I don't think the opens are an option. Um, you know, I kind of touched on it earlier. Like I, I, I feel um, the Bass Pro Tour is substantially better in the payout as far as the Elite Series. So it, and until anything changes there, I am happy where I'm at in the Bass Pro Tour. Um, so that's not really on my radar. Um, the NPFL, I, 
I want to use forward facing sonar. So w w whenever I'm fishing these additional tournaments for, you know, outside of the Bass Pro Tour, I want to fish fun events. Then, you know, that kind of factors into things is I want to fish events that are fun to me, places that are fun. If I can pick and choose where I want to fish, I want to do things I like to do. I want to fish good fisheries at good times and enjoy the event, not go to a grinder of events. So for me, you know, the NPFL is kind of off off the radar as well. So really, you know, I'm, I'm not left with a whole lot of options. So what I've been thinking, you know, I, I like adding specialty events in, you know, I think I'm going to add the uh, U.S. Open, the Juan Bass U.S. Open out, out west onto the calendar for 2025. You know, I did it in 2023. I'm not doing it this year, but I think I'm going to add it back onto the calendar for next year. I had really enjoyed it and uh, <clears throat> kind of missing it a little bit this year. So I would like to add that back to the calendar for next year. And then, you know, other than that, we, we got a few small gaps in the schedule and that's kind of where I'm torn. And that's where I'm reaching out to you guys for is, do you think I should, you know, add a few of the invitationals or fish all of the invitationals? You know, there was a little change in the invitational uh, structure, I guess, with, with adding a, a championship back to the invitational so you know it actually you know looking at the the financial side of things i mean it the the payout is is really not that bad you could you could uh potentially fish the invitationals and, and make some money throughout the year so you know I, I was kicking around the idea of potentially fishing all of the invitationals but that that would be a pretty busy season so i'm kind of torn on on what to do as far as that you know, I really like the Toyota Series. The Toyota Series is a, a great circuit. <clears throat> it's really where I got my start in high-level tournaments. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for the Toyota Series events that, you know, the event that I won on the Thousand Islands, that really launched my career. So I have kind of a special place in my heart for the Toyota Series events. But the issue with those in 2025 is that they all kind of conflict with the Bass Pro Tour schedule. I can't make a full division of the... Toyota series without really pushing my my time or you know cutting my practice days short or you know I always like to get to the Bass Pro Tour events kind of a day early and get settled in and that's really my primary focus so I'm not trying to pull any effort and time away from the Toyota series or I'm sorry away from the Bass Pro Tour for the Toyota series so a fish in a full division of those is kind of out of the question um, but I do love fishing the Toyota Series, and, and the Toyota Series Championship is the best bang for your buck tournament in all of bass fishing. I mean, it's an awesome event to be at. You know, they got international anglers that come from all over the country. You're fishing for $200,000. If you have a Phoenix, $235,000. They pay $10,000 to the highest finisher. I mean, it's a really, really cool event, and I love fishing that event, and I would love to be there. But I don't think I can make a full division of the Toyota Series, and I would have to pick and choose from the wildcard division. And kind of what I went back to said earlier, like I, I want to fish events that I enjoy, the places that I like fishing, you know, places I, um, you know, want to be there at the right time, and they fit into our schedule very well. And I haven't quite laid all of that out yet, but I don't know. I'm kind of torn on, you know, I may add a few of the Toyota Series. Um, I, I still may fish all the invitationals, but that's why I'm reaching out to you guys. What do you guys want to see? Um, do, do you guys care? Do you, do you care if I fish more tournaments, less tournaments? Do you want to see more tournament content on the channel? Do you, do you like the juice videos from all the events? And, and would you want to see more of those next year with more tournaments? You know, we plan on continuing it, but uh, just love hearing the comments about the juice series. Um, and, and that's kind of where we're at with that. So, Really, we, uh, we got some thinking to do. We got some planning to do. I'm not sure what we're going to do just yet. Obviously, the Bass Pro Tour is the number one priority. We want to get another one of those Angler of the Year trophies. That's on, that's on the bucket list every year. So we're, uh, we're going to do our best and all our time and effort and focus into that. But uh, I just love tournament fishing. I want to fish as many tournaments as I can. So if it fits into the schedule... I'm going to try and make it work. But definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts and comments. Drop it in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, leave those likes, comments, all that good stuff down below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.